everyone welcome back to another world card making day card making tutorial this card is going to be featuring the daisy lane bundle uh, and the daisy this the mini daisy punch and the daisy stamp set go together and they're in the annual catalog the card that we're going to be making is actually a cute trifold card for a friend so it uses actually some of our gorgeous DSP as well. All right, so let's get started. Make myself some space. So first, you're going to need a piece of designer series paper. This designer series paper is out of the, um, this one's actually in the annual, cat uh, excuse me, the holiday catalog. It is the Come Together. Um, if you watched my live video this week, we did a super cute one with this pumpkin paper. Um, this has some amazing paper in it. Um, nice fall pumpkins and greenery and, you know, this barn wood, which is super popular and amazing. Can't wait to make something with it. And then it has pumpkins on the other side. These fall leaves. And this uh, polka dot paper actually is like a burlap on the back. You can see that. But the one I chose to use actually is the um, just a stripe. It has a stripe and then the leaves are on the back. This came out of that catalog. Just a piece that spoke to me for this project. So the piece is five and a half by 12 again. And then you need some cardstock. So you need a piece of white that measures four by five and a quarter. Another piece of whisper white that measures two and a half by four and three quarters. This whisper white is two by three quarters. And then I have some pieces of crumb cake. One is um, two and three quarters by five, and one is three quarters by five and a half. All right, so let's set these aside. I'm gonna take out our scoreboard here. And you could do this with your paper trimmer as well if you have the scoring laid in your paper trimmer. Um, but I like to pull out my scoreboard. So you're gonna score your five and a half by 12 on the long side at three and a half. Excuse me, three and a half, hello. And at seven and three quarters. Whoopsie. And that's all that you need. And then determine which side you want to be your outside. I really like these stripes on the outside, so that's the one that I chose to do. And you can see that one piece is bigger than the other. The smaller piece is going to be the front of your card. So you're going to have the small piece in the front. This piece of the uh, crumb cake is actually just gonna go along the edge of the front of your card. Tear tape works really well. It's like, a, it's perfectly one quarter inch. Can't get it right the first time, need two pieces. All right, so there's that. And then I like to flip it over just so that I know that I have the same amount showing top to bottom. And it looks like I cut mine just a little bit off. So I'm gonna take my scissors, pardon my reach. I'm gonna trim off the excess that was up there. All right, and we're going to set that aside. So now we're going to do some stamping. First, we're going to use the Whisper White pieces here. And I'm going to use Mint Macaron. For this one, I'm going to use the fern that comes in this set. see we did it on the inside well maybe you didn't I was way out of frame there so I did it on the inside as well as on the outside so we're gonna use the fern and the inside stamp for now and 
And then for the outside piece of the card, I wanted just a couple to fill in the white background. So I'm going to stamp one down here, and I'm going to stamp another one going up. So then that's going to give us a good base to put our daisy on. Now for the inside of the card, I actually have them going off the edge. So I'm going to have that everywhere. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper here. And I'm just going to go around the edge in a couple of spots like that. And then I'm also going to stamp my sentiment. Now when I'm stamping my sentiment, I always like to get a feel for how straight it is on my block so that I, in theory I can get it straight in my card. It doesn't always happen, but that looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to close up the mint macaron. And I'm going to take out the Sahara sand. Set these aside up there. So this is just a scrap piece of Whisper White that I'm going to use to stamp my daisies on here. Now I kind of wanted my daisies a little subtle. If you stamp them in full Sahara sand, they're a little dark and I wanted them a little more subtle than that. So I stamped them off and then stamped them on my paper. And for this card design, I need two of the large daisies. wrong size block here. I have so many. And then I need four of the small daisies. And then while we are at it, I'm going to take my small, my small rectangle here and I'm going to stamp the friend that goes on the front. Then I'm going to stamp it towards the left of my, and I'm trying not to get to my head in the way, so let's see if that's straight. Not too shabby. Alright, actually I'm going to leave this open because we're going to use it. Alright, so the inside all I did is I inked around the edges here. Just to give it a little aging and effect. I think that the cold weather may finally be staying around. I don't know. I think we're done with our warmer temperatures for the year, unfortunately, which is quite sad. Seems like summer just flew right by this year. It's crazy. Now, don't forget that if you like, share, or comment, on this video, you'll be entered into a drawing and you may receive this card in the mail. I appreciate your feedback and your positive vibes. It's encouraging. So for the friend, I'm going to do a little flag on the end. So you just cut up a little snip in the center and then come from each edge to that center cut. And that should give you a good even flag and I'm going to ink around that one as well all right so I think we're done with that I'm gonna stamp out actually first thing I'm gonna do is take my 
So Saffron ink. And this is easier to do before you punch out your flower. I'm just going to ink up the yellow dauber that I have in the So Saffron. And on one, actually two of the yellow, um, oh my goodness, two of the small daisies, I'm just going to ink up the center like that. And then when we go to punch them out, they'll have that effect. And that's just for the top ones that we have on the, in the middle of the card and on the front of the card. We're gonna punch out all of our daisies. I love this daisy layered up like this. I love that they gave us a smaller daisy to go with our larger one. That one went off the page a little bit, but that's all right. Flowers aren't perfect in nature, are they? Or not always. All right, so there's our little ones. And let's punch out our big ones here. Sometimes this one can be a little harder to line up, so I'm going to cut it out. Make it a little bit easier to punch. Well, on. There we go. All right. There are our daisies. So now to, we're just going to layer them up. So for the front of the card, I used two big ones and two little ones. In the center of the card, I used just the two little ones. So I like to layer them up with the liquid glue for permanency. So between the two small layers, I put a little dab of liquid glue. And then same for the inside small layers. Now before I go too much further, I usually like to try to curl them a little bit just to give them a little dimension. All it takes is a little rub with the bone folder in your thumb just to give them a little more dimension. It was a step that I forgot, but I caught myself. And then these might be a little bit harder because I've already glued them together, but we'll make it work. Actually, after you glue them together, it might make it a little bit easier because you have to be really careful when they're single like this that you don't pull off a petal. All right, so I'm going to glue the big ones together here. Just a little bit of liquid glue. And I like to stagger them, which sort of fills it in a little bit. Now for the daisy that's going to go on the front of my card, I actually took a dimensional. And I grabbed my mini dimensionals, but you can grab a regular sized one. And I put a dimensional between the small layer and the big layer, just to give it a little more dimension, as it were. And then I finish it off with a little bling. One for this one, and one for this one. Like so. So now I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to glue together my front here. And 
And I'm going to take some of my linen thread. And I'm going to take the end and I'm going to have it hold it off the page quite a bit over here. And I'm going to wrap two or three times. And give myself a little bit extra because I'm going to tie it into a bow. Slide it up. Decide where I want my flower. Yep, so that looks good. That's about where I want it. And this linen thread is small enough so you can actually tie it in a knot to hold it where you want it. And then, so then you can tie your bow. Some ribbons are so thick that you can't do that, but this stuff is pretty cool. I'm going to fan them out a little bit just so they show. And I'm going to tie a knot. I mean, a bow. That one does not want to go down. All right, let's try this again. Ever had those days when bows are just not your thing? I'm fighting. Second time's a charm, I think. Fingers crossed. There we go. So then we'll give it a little trim. I'm going to take my daisy and I actually glued it on um, with the liquid glue so that I made sure it's going to stay on the front of my card. And this card does have a little dimension so it might be one that would cost you a little bit extra to mail or it could be a card that you gave away in person. I'm going to have that glue everywhere here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to pull back in my front. And I'm going to use the tear and tape because of the linen thread. This tear and tape goes right over the top of it, which is nice. And it'll hold it down. And then this one's going to go whoops, on the front. Of our card. And our little friend here actually uses some dimensionals as well. And that's going to go up here. All right, so on the inside of our card, we're just going to glue this piece down. And you could use either tear and tape or snail. This is just the regular snail adhesive. And that's going to get mailed, mailed. That's going to get glued down on the inside here. And then again, I took a little liquid glue and finished off by gluing our little daisy with a little liquid glue so that I know that it stays. And that's going to go right here. You want to make sure, like mine's going off a little bit, but you don't want to go off too much because the crease of your card's right there. It won't fold if your petal is over too far. All right. So there you have it. There's our third project of the day. I hope you're enjoying World Card Making Day. I hope you're 
you are uh, having some time for some creative fun, and I hope you'll make these cards. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.